So uh, yeah, I have about 45 minutes here, so let's go ahead, let's get started. Uh, as, uh, as Renee just mentioned there, my name is William Gallagher, I am with Market Traders Institute. I'm here today to show you how you can use technology. I'm going to show you how you can use our ultimate market scanner uh, to not only help you find your next trading opportunity, both in stocks, but also in the Forex market. I'm also going to go over some trading strategies and show you how to actually trade around those opportunities as well. Now before we begin, I am going to pull this scanner up here. I am going to show you uh, some current opportunities that are live in the market right now. Uh, I do want to let everybody know that you should invest money that you can't afford to lose. You should always trade with proper equity management in mind. In fact, I'm actually going to, when I demonstrate this here, I'm going to show you how uh, I use proper equity management and risk management with my trades here. Uh, it also is recommended that you become an educated trader. Uh, you become a, just start trading as an educated and knowledgeable trader. And once again, everything I show you here today, do not take this as investment advice. I will walk you through several trade examples, but ultimately when it does come time for you to place a trade, uh, that decision to make that trade is yours and yours alone. Uh, a little bit about me, uh, as was mentioned here, I do have several years of experience in trading in these markets. Uh, I've also, uh, I know the difference between the markets here, uh, behind the scenes, I've been involved. I know the difference between the stock market, options, forex, I do trade all, each one myself. I'm also a student of Market Traders Institute. So how I learned how to use this market scanner, I did in fact use, learn how to use it from Market Traders Institute. Uh, those of you that may have missed my colleague earlier here today, Joe, uh, he did explain who Market Traders Institute is. Uh, we are an education and technology company. We are located in Orlando, Florida. In fact, you see this building right here. This is actually our building. I'm actually broadcasting out of that building here this afternoon. Uh, the neat thing about this is that you can actually come to our building. You can get trained live in person. We have students that come to our building on a daily basis. Uh, we have a brand new uh, 70,000 trading and training facility here. Uh, it's located right here in Orlando. You're welcome to come here, get trained live in person on how to do this. Now, we are getting a little bit of press. Uh, we're all featuring the most recent Inc. 5000 list of fastest growing companies in the world. Uh, as you see here in the letter we got here from Inc. Magazine, we're mentioned in the same breath as GoPro, Under Armour, Microsoft, just to name a few of the companies. Now the reason we're doing this, or we got on this list is because we are getting results for our students in this market here. So let's go ahead, let's get started. I only have a little bit of time here, so I want to get an idea before we jump in. Uh, everybody just quickly look at the screen and give me an idea of what type of trading experience you are. What kind of trader are you? If you have uh, stock and options experience, go ahead, uh, type stocks into the, the chat box. If you're a Forex trader, type in Forex. Uh, if you trade a both, go ahead, type in both. I want to get an idea. I don't want to spend a lot of time on either or if I have more stock traders or Forex traders here. So. Okay, yeah, yeah. pretty much every investor inspiration I've done here, it looks like most of you are stock traders. And I got some of you that are uh, both here. I don't, I don't see anybody that is, okay, I do have one person here that did type in four specifically here. So uh, once again, I have about 150 of you here. Uh, I'd, I'd say probably about 80% uh, of you typed in stocks uh, and stocks only here. So a couple of you are typing in both. So let's go ahead, let's get started here. Uh, before we jump in here, so those of you who are brand new to the Forex market, let me just give you a quick minute synopsis of what the Forex market is. Uh, in the Forex market, what you're doing is you're trading currencies. You're trading the pound versus the yen, uh, the dollar versus the Aussie, that sort of thing, in an attempt to figure out which one's going to gain in value against the other. Now, if you've ever been to a kiosk where you've done an exchange, it's basically the exact same thing, only we use charts and we use technology to facilitate, facilitate uh, these type of transactions here. Now, uh, a little bit about the Forex market, it is the largest financial market. Uh, there's over $5 trillion daily traded in this market. Uh, the other thing about the Forex market is there are three trading sessions that go on daily in this market. So uh, you can actually trade it around the clock. The sessions, they overlap. So starting at about 5 o'clock on Sunday, all the way until about 5 o'clock on Friday, uh, you can trade it around the clock. Uh, the other thing about the Forex market compared to stocks, uh, there's over 40,000 different stocks you can trade. Uh, in the Forex market, there's only about 60 different currency pairs. Uh, we narrowed that down a little bit more. We narrowed it down to about 20 that you should really pay attention to. And because we do have over 22 years of experience in trading uh, in this market, we also can help you uh, pay attention to specific ones as you're going along. Now, there's two more things you need to know about the Forex market. Uh, what we're trying to do in the Forex market is capture what are called PIPs. Uh, PIP is an acronym. It stands for Price Interest Point. Now, I'm sure everybody here in the room, 150 of you here in the room today, you probably already know there are 100 pennies in a U.S. dollar. So a penny, it represents one one-hundredth of a dollar. Pretty straightforward. Now, we are looking for a unit of measure that's smaller than a penny. It would be the equivalent to what's called a PIP. Now, a PIP is represented by these last two digits after the pennies right here. And just like there are 100 pennies in a U.S. dollar, there are 100 pips in a penny. 
a pip represents one one hundredth of a penny here. Now, uh, to find out how much each pip your capture is worth, uh, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be utilizing leverage. Your broker is going to provide this leverage here. It's going to give you the opportunity to place the trade and to generate a leverage return on the pips that you capture. Now, uh, there's three basic lot sizes that we trade in. We trade in lots. Uh, there's what's called a micro lot. It's about a $20 investment from your trading account. Each pip is worth about 10 cents. So if you were to capture 10, well, I'm sorry, 100 pips on a trade, you generate about a $10 profit. A little bit higher is what's called a mini lot. It's about a $200 investment from your trading account. Each pip is worth about a dollar. So if you captured 100 pips, you'd be generating about a $100 profit. And then a standard lot is the standard by which most traders strive to achieve in this market. Uh, each pip is worth $10, or about $10. So if you were to capture 100 pips, it would generate a profit of about $1,000. So uh, if you're not familiar with how this works, you might want to do a quick screenshot or write this down because uh, we're about to jump in. I'll show you what kind of results we can do here uh, utilizing our market scanner. Now the market scanner, if you haven't been in one of these webinars before, let me just quickly explain to you what it's going to do. Uh, it's going to quickly scan the markets and scan the stock market. Uh, it can be used for stocks, futures, ETFs, and the Forex market. I'm going to demonstrate it for you here today for stocks and for the Forex market, but it's going to save you a lot of time because I'm sure many of you here in the room, if you pull up your charts, you might be wondering, okay, well, where do I start? Which uh, currency pair should I look at or which stocks should I be looking at? Especially in the stock market with over 40,000, uh, the thing is by the time you actually find a stock, yeah, you might find one or two, but generally you might be missing out on a lot of other opportunities that you may not have even thought of before. So here's what we're going to do. We're using the market scanner to quickly find these opportunities in the market. I'm going to demonstrate some strategies of how to trade around them as well. So uh, anything about the market scanner, I'm going to demonstrate for you right now. It's just going to pull up this information here. For instance, this trade right here was on the uh, pound U.S. dollar currency pair. And what it's going to do is it's going to give you. It's going to give you your entry, your profit targets, your stop loss, all of this is going to be done for you here. So it is a standalone tool. You can use it as a standalone tool, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can use some analysis on top of that to give you some corroboration, but also utilize risk management to help you better choose which opportunities you want to take advantage of. Yeah, you could come in here and you could use every single trade here, but I'll show you some strategies here of how you can actually go in and pick and choose which trades you want to take, give you a bit much better uh, sense of which ones will give you a higher probability of success. Now, uh, have you been in these webinars before? I showed this trade here a couple of investor inspirations ago. This is Facebook. This is a trade that I actually showed live in the webinar. This is the pre-sell, meaning that the scanner was telling us to sell Facebook at 117.74. First profit target was 116.88. Second profit target was 114.85, and our stop loss was 118.94. So here's what ended up happening here. On that trade right there, there was our entry right there at 117.74. Market dropped down. I've uh, hit first profit target at 116.88, and we hit the second profit target right there uh, at, for a $3 profit per share at 114.85. So uh, that was one trade that was called, and give you an example here for the Forex market. Uh, this one was called on the British pound Canadian dollar. A uh, scanner told us to do a pre sell at 1.8508. Uh, first profit target was 1.8327. Second profit target was at 1.8075, and here's what happened. Uh, there was our entry right there at uh, 1.8508, and each one of these candlesticks on here represents about an hour, so about, uh, this is what, a couple days later, about three days later, we hit profit target number one, captured 182 pips off that trade, and eventually we did hit profit target number two down here uh, for a total of 438 pips. Now, once again, for those of you unfamiliar with how much that would be worth, uh, with a mini, I'm sorry, a micro lot, that would have been, what, about a $4 trade, uh, with a, I'm sorry, about a $43 trade. Uh, with a mini lot that would have been about a $438 trade and with a standard lot that would have been about a $4,380 trade uh, depending on what type of lot size uh, you were trading here. So I'll kind of give you some examples here. I'm actually going to pull up some more of the recent ones here that we've done uh, in these Investor Inspirations, but I'll actually pull it up and we'll demonstrate and show you exactly uh, what we're looking at right now. So let's go ahead and pull up my charts. I'm going to pull the scanner up right now. In fact, let me move this over here. In fact, actually this trade right here, uh, everybody right now, okay, everybody should right now see the market scanner on the screen here, and you should see this recent trade. In fact, what I'm going to do is let me switch this over here. Uh, I'm going to pull this up, and this is a trade. Oh, let me make sure I reset this here. Hold on one second. And this is a trade that was just uh, actually on Saturday. I did an Investor Inspiration webinar. This was ABX, and this is the trade they're called. 
And as you can see right here, it told us to go long, buy into the market at 22.11, right there. Uh, first profit targets at 28.99, which is right here. Uh, second profit target is 32. Uh, 84 and there's our stop loss at 21 here. So what do we simply do? Uh, like I said, it is a standalone tool. If you wanted to simply go into your broker's platform, place the trade as is. Uh, but as you can see here, I did a little bit of analysis. Give me a little bit of corroboration. Uh, give me a little bit of a higher probability of success on this trade here. So what I did is I came in here and I ran my Fibonacci's on this. And you see here there's also a downward uh, there's a break in the uh, trend line right here. So a little bit more of a corroboration, uh, letting me know that we are going in a bullish movement, and the Fibonacci's here letting me know kind of an idea of where the market's going. Uh, one of the things I also want to point out on this trade, I'm going to explain this here a little bit more as we go through and show you why I'm picking certain trades uh, to give a higher probability of success. Uh, as you can see here on this trade, we were risking about $1.17 on this trade. Uh, we were going after uh, $6.88 in profit. So what we had here was a six to one risk to reward ratio. So we were going after six times as much as what we were risking, going after profit target number one. Uh, my Fibonacci's right here, uh, they almost aligned, they were a little bit less. Uh, that was about, uh, the Fibonacci's are about, about almost about a dollar less than where our first profit target was. So uh, one of the things you could do, let me go ahead and let me, uh, I'll expand this here and kind of give you a, more of an overview here. Uh, if you wanted to, this is what I do sometimes as well, uh, you can come in here, you can take a little bit of profit right there at your uh, Fibonacci extension here. Now, for those of you, I'm not going to come in here and explain a lot about what Fibonacci's do. I'm actually going to show you our tool here in just a second that do them automatically. Uh, but basically what Fibonacci's do, uh, they help to take advantage of the wave movements in the markets. You can use these both for uh, stocks and for the Forex market as well. What we're looking for is what's called our A, B, C, and our D swing. And what we have found is that the market tends to move in this A, B, C, D movement. And uh, right here between this A and B boundary, these colored lines, in fact, I got a couple of you asking why are our Fibonacci's a different color. Uh, that's one of the neat things about our, our charting platform here. Yeah, a couple of you have been asked about this charting platform. Uh, this charting platform is the charting software that we provide to our students as part of our education. Uh, there's a lot of neat features like this. We have the ability to color coordinate our Fibonacci. So uh, what we've done here is between this A and B boundary, we've color coordinated our Fibonacci lines here. These lines are called retracement lines. So what we're looking for is we found is that there's a high probability between this A and B boundary of a retracement. So we had A to B, and we're looking for this C point right here. At this point, the market pulled back to a red retracement level, letting us know to look for the market to come up here to the coordinating red line up here. These lines above this B level are called extensions. So what we have found is that the market tends to retrace and then extend. And we can use these Fibonacci's here to help us to predict where the market's going. Now we can utilize the market scanner here to help us give us entries into the market. And we'd also do some analysis here. We had a counter trend line break here. Uh, there might be some candlestick formations giving us a little bit more corroboration here. So uh, you can run the whole gamut here. We do teach several different strategies of how to use the market scanner, uh, but it can be used everything from a standalone tool uh, in conjunction to help you find these opportunities well, in conjunction with uh, doing some analysis uh, to give you a higher probability as well. So unfortunately, I don't have much information on this trade right here. Uh, this is what's called on Saturday. Uh, but what I can do is I can come in here. Uh, hold on one second here. Let me pull up. Uh, let's see here. Uh, here's Target. This is another trade that was called uh, one of the previous investor inspirations here. There's our entry. It told us to go long right here at 69.54. Uh, we hit profit target number one, profit target number two, and then we hit our D extension right there. Now, once again, the scanner called this trade, but if you have a little bit of knowledge as far as trading the market, you can always come in here and you can run your Fibonacci's from your new A to B just like that. So probably just like that. In this case here, you can continue on with this trade. You would have your A, B, C, and it looks like the market came up here, hit that D once again. So I just kind of show you a couple different strategies of how you can use the market scanner uh, along with some strategies. But let's go ahead, let's do some quick scans right here. Let me show you some of the opportunities that are going on in the market right now. So I'm gonna come in here, uh, let me reset this. Let me reset this here, and let me quickly explain to you what the market scanner is going to do. Uh, well, the neat things about the market scanners is that they provide you with a wealth of information as well. You can come in here and just get some market information. Uh, if you click on this, uh, if there's a specific stock you're looking at, let's say that we're looking at Apple. We can come in here, do a quick search here, AAPL. 
And the market scanners will pull up information here. There's a recent quote on Apple. I can pull up recent trades. I, I saw a lot of you, there are a couple of you are options traders. Uh, we also teach uh, options trading. Uh, you can pull the options chain right up from the market scanner as well. We teach how to, uh, there's certain strategies of how to pick the best options. Uh, you can pull up charts, news, uh, filings, analyst information, recent earnings reports, that sort of thing. All is available right here in the market scanner. Uh, as I mentioned before, it can be used for stocks. ETS futures and the Forex. Now as part of what I'm showing you here today, I'm going to show you how to use it for stocks and the Forex. I, I think I saw somebody here, one of two of you started asking about uh, futures. Oh, it was Ann. Ann was asking about futures. Uh, we're not going to include that here today, Ann, but uh, if you uh, want more information about that, I'll, I'll give you an, uh, a phone number at the end of the webinar here. I can give them a call and we can see what we can do as far as getting you set up with, uh, with futures as well. But let me just go ahead and come in here. Uh, let me show you how we can do a quick scan right here. Uh, the first thing is we pick our time frame. Uh, right now, I'm just going to leave it as a daily signal here, but it depends on what type of time frame you like to trade on. Uh, you can select whatever time frame you want. I uh, can choose either conservative or aggressive. Uh, that basically helps determine how your stop loss is going to move. I'll explain what that means here in just a second. Uh, for those of you that choose to uh, trade specific indexes, you can come in here and do a scan on a specific index. Uh, we're just going to leave it as all stocks for right here today. And then you can choose to be either uh, bullish or bearish on the long term or the short term. And if we simply just hit scan all, uh, the market scanner is going to scan the market. And within a quick couple seconds, it comes back and it's letting us know these are opportunities that are going on right now. Now, uh, out of the scans, uh, the opportunities that's calling right now, I, we would be winning about 5,076 of them, losing uh, 1,667. Uh, 200, I'm sorry, 2,362, we'd probably want to stay out because they're flat. So it's giving us, uh, out of these open signals, we'd have about a 75% uh, winning percentage of open signals. Now, obviously that right there, that's about, we'll say about nine, about 9,000 trades we're looking at. So yeah, it does narrow it down from over 40,000 down to 9,000. Uh, pretty still unrealistic to try to trade all these opportunities. Uh, plus a lot of them here, you're going to come down here and see here, uh, Penny stocks, four cents, ninety cents. I thought I saw one here, thirty-five cents. Probably some of these you'd want to try to avoid anyway as well. So we can come in here. We can refine this here. We can come in here, and let's just say that we want to set our minimum price at twenty dollars, and we'll set our minimum volume at ten million, and then we hit scan all once again. This will narrow it down just a little bit more. Okay, bam. So it comes back now. Uh, this is a little bit more manageable. Uh, letting us know that we would be winning 24 of these trades, uh, losing eight, nine flat. Uh, but one of the things I want to point out right now is that some of them right here, they've already hit a lot of their first profit targets. Now, there are some strategies of how you can still trade around these here, uh, but what we're really looking for are companies here like ETP. It's what's called a pre-buy. These are opportunities we're going to look at because these are opportunities that are going on right now that we want to take advantage of. In fact, this one right here, it's giving us that caution sign to let us know uh, that that's an opportunity. Now, rather than having to come through here and scan through to try to find all these here, what we can do is we can simply come in here, come in here, and we just simply hit pre-buy. So let's come in here and we hit pre-buy, and let's see what comes up here. So, okay, there we go. So now we have three opportunities that we're looking at, uh, ETP, uh, EA, and Citigroup. Now, once again, standalone tool, if you wanted to, come in here, Place your trade, go into your broker's platform, place it as is. But like I said, I prefer to play with trade with proper risk management. Uh, if you look at this first trade here, ETP, uh, it's telling us to buy into the market at 42.82. Uh, our stop loss is at 38.18. So we're looking at here about what about two dollars fifty cents, uh, a little bit more than that of risk on this trade. We're going after uh, going up to 45.18. So it's, it's probably about a one to one risk ratio. It's okay, probably not the best one here. We come down to EA here. Uh, what's EA telling us here? EA, uh, very similar here, uh, 7899 is our entry, uh, stop loss at 7644, so risking about, uh, what, about $2.50 on that one as well. Uh, profit target number one is 8154, not too bad, still probably about a one-to-one -one risk ratio. Uh, profit target number two, however, is about a two to one. We go after five. That one's not too bad. But let's take a look here at Citigroup. I've already kind of taken a look at this one here. Uh, it's calling the trade on Citigroup uh, to buy in the market at 43.95. Uh, stop loss is at 43.22. So that means our risk on this trade is about 73 cents. 
Uh, first profit target is eight forty-five thirty-eight, so it's about a dollar forty-five or so in profit. So it's about two to one risk ratio for profit target number one. Uh, the big one here is profit target number two. We're going after forty-seven sixty-one. Uh, that's about a three dollar and sixty cent move right there. So that's about a five to one risk ratio. So city, oops, sorry about that. Where'd that go? There we go. Uh, so city group right here, it's looking like a pretty good trade. So here's what we can do. Uh, we click on chart. And it pulls up the chart, and we'll switch this over to candles. And uh, if you, first things, one of the things you'll know is on, it says right here at the top here on our 60 minute, our 120, our 240, and our weekly, uh, it's letting us know that we have uh, uh, upward uh, bullish movement on that here. So not too bad here. So let's come in here, and what we can do is I'm going to move this over to the side, uh, just like that. And I've already come in here for time's sake here. I've already taken a look at this one here. Let's move this over here. So. Um, once again, if you look at Citigroup, I, all I've done is I've simply have taken the information. Uh, 43.95 is where it's telling us to buy into the market. Uh, profit target moment is 45.38. Second profit target is 47.61, and our stop loss is uh, right there at 43.22. So all that information is right here. But for those of you that like to do some analysis, uh, here's what we can do. In fact, let me go ahead and move this over here a little bit. Uh, what I want to show everybody here is I showed kind of give you a sneak preview here of Fibonacci's. Uh, as part of our charting platform, we have some smart tools here. We have tools that are auto tools. We have an auto Fibonacci tool, auto trend line tool, auto support and resistance. Uh, so if we wanted to, we can come in here to the beginning of this new trend. And without even knowing how to really do Fibonacci's, we simply come in here, click right there, and bam, our Fibonacci's are quickly and accurately drawn here. Now what you can see is with our Fibonacci's here on Citigroup, uh, there's our A to B, as you can see right here, it's very faint, I'm sorry, I apologize for that, there's our A to B, the market pulls back, forms its C point right here to red retracement, and as you can see right here, uh, it almost lines up exactly right there with profit target number one. So get a little bit more of a Fibonacci confirmation right there. Uh, if we also want to come in here, uh, if we want to draw a counter trend line, we come in just like that. And it looks like we have a counter trend line break as well. So uh, looking like a pretty good trade. And for those of you that are uh, educated here as far as candlesticks, uh, right there we have an engulfing, oops, there's an engulfing bullish candlestick as well. So this is looking like a pretty good trade right here. So uh, we'll be interested to see uh, how this one progresses as we're going forward here. Once again, pretty good risk management, risking 73 cents going after $1.43. So uh, that one's looking like a pretty good trade. Uh, right there. Now, uh, I'm going to come in here in just a second here. I'm going to actually come in here. I'll ask everybody here uh, if you want to type in some ticker symbols in just a second. We'll do a scan here because we can actually come in and we can actually do a, a search for specific uh, ticker symbols here. But what I want to do is to kind of give you an idea. I just showed you their city group. I showed you uh, ABX, which was in uh, Saturday's uh, Investor Inspiration. Let me show you some of the previous trades I've called over the last uh, month or two uh, here in Investor Inspiration to show you the type of results uh, just by using the simple strategy of what I showed you here. So if we were to come in here, uh, let's see here, let me find, find a good one right here. Okay, actually this one right here, uh, MPC, uh, this one was just a couple weeks ago. Let me pull this one up. Uh, there was our entry right here at 35.89. Uh, we hit profit target number one and we hit profit target number two. And then once again, using proper risk management, profit target number one was a two to one risk ratio. So we were risking a dollar sixty-two going after three twelve. So uh, that was one. That was just a, uh, looks like it might have been maybe at the end of March, uh, June, beginning of July. So just uh, that was the immense inspiration for that one. Let me show you one more here. Uh, oh yeah, for those I already showed you Facebook, uh, HCP. I, I'll, I'll pull this one up as well. I think this one was another recent one uh, I showed as well. Uh, once again, scanners told us buying the market thirty-four sixty. Uh, profit target number one was at a dollar thirty-two. So that right there, I apologize for not having. Uh, the information on here, so that would be a dollar thirty-two divided by .48. Uh, so that was almost a, almost a three-to-one risk ratio on that one, that trade right there. Uh, we hit profit target number two, and then there's our D extension here. And once again, using Fibonacci's, uh, we would simply come in here. There's our new A to B, and as you can see here, we had A, B, C, and then we hit profit target number two. So once again, you don't have to necessarily, as the trade moves forward. The other neat thing about this is that the market scanner, it's got to move your stop loss up 
locking in profit as you're going along here. So as this kept going up and up, your stop loss would have been moved up, locking in that profit as it's going along. So that's why I want to show you this other uh, Fibonacci sequence here, because probably what would have happened is your stop loss probably would have been moved up to profit target number two, or been moved up a little bit, locking in all that profit as you're going along right there. So uh, there's a couple of trades there for uh, stocks, but like I said, I got a little bit of time here. Let's go back to the scanner, and uh, yeah, I got a couple of you typing in some uh, some ticker symbols here. Go ahead. Uh, here's what we'll do. I'm gonna give everybody about 30 seconds. Let me put my, pull my scanner back up here. If you want to type in a, a ticker symbol, I'm going to reset my scanner. Uh, we'll do a quick scan here and see if there's any opportunities that are going on right now. So Zhang was the first one here. Uh, Zhang typed in Microsoft. Thank you for that. We got MSFT. Thank you for that. I got Michaels typing in Apple, A-A-P-L. Yeah, let me give everybody about 30 seconds to do this here. Uh, we'll do a quick search here. Uh, I got James doing Tesla, T-S-L-A. Thank you for that. Uh, let's see here, Nelson's P-O-D-D, -D. thank you for that, Nelson. I got Alexander typing in CVS, that's another good one. Uh, Facebook, yeah, a lot of you type in some of the more common ones here, Amazon, A-M-Z-N, thank you for that. Uh, Adam got J-B-U-L, let's put back this up here, J-B-L-U, thank you for that. And Caterpillar, thank you for that, Stephen. And uh, one more, J-C-P, thank you for that. So yeah, if there's certain stocks you're looking at, the other neat thing about this is that uh, we also can set this up with a watch list. Uh, you can come in here, if there's specific trade uh, stocks you're looking at, uh, you can have that on there as well. So here we come in here, and let's see what we got going on here. So uh, let's see here. The first one, yeah, Adam typed in JBLU. So I'll put that one over here for Adam. Here's what's going on with that one, JetBlue. There we go. So uh, here's what we had here, uh, telling us to short the market. At 1697, first profit target is 1236. Uh, second profit target is down here at uh, 1060. Here, uh, well, let me see where our entry was on that one here. So this is actually uh, yesterday. So yesterday this one was called Adam uh, to get into JetBlue right there. We're up about uh, about 0.4 percent on that one here. Uh, let me show. Actually, let me show you here Caterpillar. Uh, I think it was Michael that called out Caterpillar. Uh, just show you here how we can lock in profits as we're going along. Uh, there was our entry at 7744. Uh, we hit profit target number one, profit target number two. Uh, the scanner moved our stop loss up to 80.29. So the worst case scenario in this right here is that uh, you'd be able to, uh, you, the worst you could do right here is you're locked in at that profit between uh, 77.44 and 80.29. As you see, it's pulling back a little bit, but you know, if you wanted to cash out right there at uh, 83.59, you'd still be at that profit right there. But I just want to show everybody how that works as well. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, yeah, so uh, yeah, Nelson's saying all of them are uh, profitable. Yeah, that's... Uh, that, that doesn't happen all the time here, but uh, let's see here. If I can show who else here, uh, Nelson, P-O-O-D. I'll pull that one up for Nelson as well. And uh, Zhang, I'll get your Microsoft here as well. So uh, here's what's going on here with P-O-D-D. Uh, we were in, it went long at 30.83, hit profit target number one. Our stop loss now has been moved up to 33. So the worst case scenario right now is we've locked in, what, about $2.15 of a profit right there. And as you can see here, it looks like it might be pulling back. We didn't quite hit profit target number two, uh, but where are we on that? Uh, P-O-O-D, we're up about 12%. That one was uh, about a month ago on July 6th here. Uh, Zhang here chose Microsoft. We're about 9% on Microsoft. Uh, I'll do this one here, and then we'll go into, yeah, a couple of you typed in ticker symbols, uh, uh, currency pairs here. Uh, so here's, here's what we did here with uh, at Microsoft. Uh, we bought in at 51.29. Uh, first profit target's 54.97. A uh, second profit target we didn't hit yet. It's a 58.65. Uh, every uh, every time frame here is giving us a bullish indicator. Our stop loss now has been moved up to 54.24. So we've locked in about three dollars in profit off of that. So that's the worst we can do on that trade right there. Uh, that one was called on about a month ago as well on. Uh, uh, July 6th as well right there. So uh, yeah, so that's how I use it for stocks. I know a lot of you here are stock traders here. I did have some of you that are Forex traders. So let's go ahead. I'm going to do a quick overview here. I'm going to come in here. Let's reset my scanner. Let me show you how to use this for the Forex market here and show you how to find opportunities. Uh, so let's come in here. Hold on one second here. Yeah, and that's the other thing. Oops, hold on here. Yeah, somebody's asking about doing this on a different time frame. Yeah, if we want to, we can come in here on the 120. Uh, let's say, I'll just do a quick scan here. Let's see if there's anything here on the 120. So yeah, there's, oops, hold on. Let me reset this here. Let me reset that. 120. And let's see if we have any pre-buys on the 120. 
Okay, so there we go. So yeah, I, I think it was, who was that? That was Carl that was asking about that here. So yeah, on the 120, uh, two hour time frame, you got Ross, uh, Gap, a couple of these other ones right here. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a lot of time to come in here. I want to show everybody how you do use this for the Forex market as well, because I know some of you are Forex traders. So let's come in here. Uh, let's reset this here. We'll do a quick scan here on the Forex. And uh, here we go. So in this case here, let's just do, uh, let's do uh, daily and let's do uh, pre-sell. I'm going to show you here uh, for pre-sells here. So I have Forex market. Like I said, there's a much fewer currency pairs. If I come in here and did this here for time's sake, uh, on the euro Swiss franc, here's what it's telling us to do. We're looking to short the market. This is what's called a pre-sell. So let me show how this goes in the opposite direction utilizing the Forex market. Now I've already got this trade set up. Uh, this one's looking pretty good as well. So let's come in here. Uh, let's see here. I think I had this set up. Let's see here. Euro Swiss franc. Here we go. And once again, simply just coming in here. Uh, there's our entry at uh, uh, 1.0818. Our stop loss is at 1.0890. Uh, so we're risking 73 pips on this trade. Uh, profit target number one is right here at 106.87. We're going after 134 pips. Uh, profit target number two is right here at uh, 10555. It's a four to one risk ratio. So once again, my friends, uh, Obviously, the market scanner, it, it's going to come up. It's going to pull up a, diff, a bunch of different scans uh, of opportunities. Uh, you could take them as is, or you can use proper risk management. I know some of you, you're not a one-to-one -one trader. Uh, maybe even two-to-one isn't your, your risk management. But once again, you determine what your risk management is, and you can go after it like that. So let's go ahead. Let me show you here what's going on here uh, with the Euro Swiss franc here. Uh, I've already come in here. I've already spread my Fibonacci's here. Uh, here's a neat check of this one out, my friends. There's our A, B. Uh, the market pulls back right here to a red retracement level, letting us know right there it's pretty much almost dead on. Our Fibonacci's almost line up exactly where uh, profit target number one, number two is right here. In fact, actually, uh, profit target number one lines up here with our blue extension. Uh, for those of you that don't understand how Fibonacci's work, uh, they're, they're, they're basically referred to as hidden levels of support and resistance. Uh, as you can see right here, the market came back right there. Oh, my, oops, let me delete that. Right there, almost right there to our uh, red retracement level, hidden level of resistance. Uh, here's a hidden level of support. There'll probably be a hidden level of uh, support right there as well. So uh, yeah, so this is on the uh, the Euro Swiss franc, uh, risking 73 pips, going after 134 or 266, uh, depending on which target uh, you want to go after. Now, I haven't shown you here daily time frames. Uh, one of the neat things about utilizing a daily time frame, if this doesn't meet your risk management, uh, what you can do, in fact, let me uh, delete that. Uh, you can also uh, translate this information, uh, take this information onto a smaller time frame. Take this onto a one hour time frame, set profit target number one as your long term ta target, trade this on a smaller time frame, a little bit less risk, uh, if that meets, is a little bit better for you as well here today. Now, uh, let me show you a couple of the trades here. I, I'm running out of time. Uh, hopefully it gives you a better idea. Uh, yeah, for those, oh yeah, one of the things, I'll, sorry about that. I forgot to show everybody here how to use this for options. Uh, let me pull this back here. I'm going to switch this quickly back over. Uh, let me switch this back over. Uh, let's see here. If I can just come in here. If I can find it. Well, that's Forex. Hold on. Uh, there we go. Stocks. Yeah, somebody's just asking, how would we find... Let's see if I can quickly pull up that City Corp one once again here. So... Oh, there we go. So yeah, so the Citicorp one, for those of you that are options traders, uh, what you can do is you can come in here, uh, if you prefer to trade that with options, uh, you click on veto, View Detailed Options, and uh, like I said, we do teach education on how to trade and find the proper options here, but you can come in here and, and pull up the whole options chain right there from the market scanner. So yeah, it's not only just helping you find opportunities, but help you trade along with them as well here. Now, somebody just asked, how do you make money in this market when it's going down? Uh, in, um, if you're an options trader, uh, you can, I'm sorry, as a stock trader, you can utilize, uh, you can short the market or you can use put options uh, to, to trade the market that's going down. Same thing with the Forex market, uh, you can short the market. In fact, actually in the Forex market, I would say probably 
about 75% of my trades I use when the market's going down. So yeah, if you're not if you're not taking advantage of the market when it's going down, uh, like I said, I'd say about 75% of my trades are are, are short in shorting the market. Uh, going bearish uh, in the forex market just like that here. So I think I've just about covered everything here except for one thing here. Uh, one of the things I want to point out with the market scanner is that normally, if I have anybody here that is a student of Market Traders Institute, uh, the neat thing about the market scanner is it's built right into our charting platform here. So for those of you that are students, uh, you can access it right from the charting platform. Now, for those of you that are not students of Market Traders Institute, normally you'd have to be a student to get access to this. Uh, here's a neat thing about this investor inspiration here. Normally we don't do this here, but as part of investor inspiration, uh, we're actually going to let you take advantage of this. We're allowing you to take this market scanner here for a 14-day test drive here today as part of investor inspiration, uh, absolutely risk-free. I'll explain what that means here in just a second. Uh, but for those of you wondering, well, how do you access the market scanner if you don't have the charting platform? It's web-based. Uh, for those of you, as long as you have a, a, um, a web browser, in fact, this is in uh, Microsoft Edge, uh, the other neat thing about this is as long as you have a web browser, I have an Android tablet, uh, I have a 10-inch Android tablet, I, I can open this up on Chrome or Firefox, uh, so it's mobile as well. That's another neat thing about this as well. So yeah, so that's the neat thing about this. those of you wondering, well, if you're not a student of Market Traders Institute, how do you get this? I'm going to show you today how you can actually get a link to this so you can uh, actually get access to this. And we'll also show you some tutorial videos. And yeah, those of you wondering, uh, as far as learning how to use this, we'll also provide you information as far as how to use the market scanner as well. There's uh, videos, uh, different trading strategies, and a bunch of frequently asked questions right here as well. So what I want to do is I think I've just about covered everything here today. I don't think there isn't much more here. Uh, the other thing about this, like I said, it's access through our charting platform or through the web uh, for those of you who are not students. And like I said, I'm going to give everybody the opportunity here today to take it for a 14-day test drive risk-free. So you don't have to actually be a student. You don't have to pay thousands of dollars to become a student to actually take this for a test drive here today. So uh, let me quickly explain to you what you're going to get with the market scanner with that test drive. Um, you'll get that market scanner, the software, how you'll be able to access it through the web browser or through our charting platform. Uh, we're also going to give you that quick start training guide so you'll be able to uh, view those videos. I kind of give you a cliff notes version of how this works here today. Uh, you'll be able to get a quick uh, training guide here that you can get started right here today. Uh, as for the Forex market, we'll give you about $2,000 worth of Forex boofing profit bonuses here. And as long as you are, uh, you, this is on a month to month basis as far as the trial for this. Uh, there's no long-term contracts or anything, but as long as you are part of that uh, subscription, uh, you will get a lifetime of support. Now, once again, as part of Mesperation here today, we're going to give you two weeks, 14 days. Do not take my word for this or Market Traders Institute's word for it. We'll, you get to put this in your hands here today. Take it for a 14-day test drive risk-free here today. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, normally, uh, the market scanner, you would have to be a student of the Market Traders Institute, and as part of that thing, as part of our subscription, uh, normally we would sell this to our students for $299 a month on a month-to-month -month subscription. But as part of Investor Inspiration here today, we got something very special. One, you don't have to be a student to get access to it, but also we're only going to charge you $99 as for our special here for Investor Inspiration for the first month. So we'll get you locked in, save you $200 off the first month, and if you choose to go beyond that first month, We'll save you $100 a month after that. It's just going to be $190 a month thereafter. And once again, it is on a month-to-month -month basis. Now, let me quickly explain to you here how the 14-day test drive is going to work. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to send everybody out a link right now. You click on the link. Click on the link. I'm going to show you how to register for this to take it for the 14-day test drive. Uh, but what you're going to do is you get 14 days to take it for a test drive absolutely risk-free. So you get two full weeks. Get in your hands. Go through the tutorials. Tutorials get up to speed as far as how to using this here. Uh, within those 14 days, if you don't find the value in this, if you've gone through the pro, gone through the videos, you've gone, you've taken it for a test drive, if you decide this is not for you, no worries. I'm going to show you here in just a second how easy it is to cancel that, and you'll get a full money back guarantee. And I hate to say this, I hate to say it in these webinars, but uh, you can actually, even if you do find the value in this, you still can cancel within those 14 days. As long as you cancel within those 14 days, it is a risk-free guarantee. So for those of you that are looking to take this for a test drive, uh, here's the opportunity to do it here today. So I sent that link out into the, the room here, and once again, oops, let me pull up that money-back guarantee here. Hold on one second. There we go. Yeah, so our, our guarantee to you is that you're going to find the value in this. 
Uh, I, I just showed you a bunch of different trades over the last couple of investor inspirations here, simply utilizing proper risk management. So based on what I just showed you here today, you're actually probably ready to go, uh, start using the scanner, uh, just simply using it on that risk management basis. Now, if you want to you have some, use some analysis on top of it, that's your prerogative as well. I just kind of showed you some of the different strategies of how I use it here, but you're going to get 14 days to take it for a test drive absolutely risk-free here. So let's go ahead, let me quickly walk you through the process here. Uh, I'm going to send that link out one more time. Yeah, a couple of you, if you're having trouble with the link, please let me know. Uh, but let me show you how to walk you through the process here. Uh, you click on that link, it's going to take you to this page right here. It's going to show you, explain everything I just explained to you right now, all written right here. Uh, what you do is you fill out your, your information, your billing information. Uh, your payment information, you place your order. Uh, what's going to happen is probably within a minute or two or within a couple minutes, you will get an email uh, letting you know that you are in fact locked in. You're locked in with this Investor Inspiration Special right here. Uh, once again, it's $99 for the first month, uh, $199 a month thereafter. Once again, it is on a month-to-month -month basis. Now, I want everybody just to simply focus on the first 14 days because uh, the first 14 days are risk-free. Take it for a two-week test drive, absolutely risk-free. If you don't find the value in it, I'm going to show you right now how you can very easily cancel this uh, right here. So when you, the other email you're going to get, you'll also get an email uh, to give you the login information to this back-end portal right here. Uh, the back-end portal is going to give you all this information right here. It's going to give you our customer service email, so if you have any questions for that, or our 1-800 number, uh, give us a phone call. We can answer your questions as you're going along learning this here. You'll get the tutorial videos. Uh, some strategies of how to use a scanner, and you'll get the frequently asked questions here. So uh, might, what you might want to do is if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them for you right now, but uh, it's right here, the, we have a bunch of different frequently asked questions here. Now as far as if within those 14 days, if you decide you want this, you simply just come under my account, cancel my membership here, and you simply just cancel it just like that. So that how, that's how easy it is as far as uh, canceling here. So there's no long-term commitments. Uh, just take it for the 14-day test drive. Uh, within those 14 days, if you don't find the value in it, simply come in here, cancel your membership. You've risked nothing on this. Uh, and I hate to say it is, even if you did find the value in it, you simply just want to go ahead and cancel. You're welcome to do that as well. I can't uh, determine what kind of level of value you find in this here, but you're once again, that's how easy it is. As long as within those 14 days, you cancel, uh, and you will get a full refund on that here. So what I'm going to do is uh, quickly explain to you here. You're going to get everything I showed you here, the market scanner, those tutorial videos, the forks boosting profits as well. Uh, and also, is going to show you this information here as far as the market scanner. So uh, I'm going to go ahead. Is anybody having trouble with the link? Is anybody having trouble with the link as far as clicking on it? Because uh, what I can do is I can send that link out to you privately. I want to make sure everybody gets us here to take advantage of this here because uh, uh, there are some opportunities that are going on right now. So uh, if anybody has any questions here, I'm going to stick around here uh, for about one more minute. I've gone over my time. Uh, but if anybody has any questions or anything, just go ahead, type them in. I'll stick around. But on that note, I wish everybody a good day. I wish you the best in your trading. Uh, those of you take advantage of, yeah, I got a couple of, yeah, if you, those of you that are getting those confirmation emails, I appreciate that. Thank you, Dominic. Uh, Dominic says he just got his confirmation email. Uh, Michael says he's got his as well. Uh, if anybody's having trouble with the getting logging in or if you're not getting any of that, uh, please type in the chat box. Uh, I'll, I'll respond to you personally here. So I'll stick around here for about one more minute. So on that note, uh, I wish everybody a good day. And uh, thank you, Investor Inspiration, here for allowing us to uh, present the market scanner. Uh, to those of you here today. So thank you, everybody, and I wish everybody a good afternoon.